All right, well, someone uh, wrote in, you know, I'm always talking about how much time I spend on my couch, so I do stream a lot of different mm -hmm. shows, and you go mm -hmm. in and out of different ones. These are some that I've done over the past year that I'm just remembering that I really liked. You know, sometimes you watch something, you yeah. can't remember what it was. One I'm watching right now is this one that's new to Netflix, The Tourist. Have you seen this with Jamie Dornan? Here's a trailer. Oh, uh, yeah. So this guy gets in a, he's in the Australian Outback, All right. gets hit by this truck that's following him, gets okay. amnesia. Oh. The old amnesia thing. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know who he is, what he's yeah. doing it's there, but it's pretty good. Right it's yeah. big as six episodes. I don't know what the heck's going on, but it's yeah. very compelling. So yeah. there we go. So I'm about four episodes in. It's been pretty good. All right. All right. Next one. I mentioned this before, but worth mentioning again, because this has been my big discovery over the last couple of months. Here it is. Belgravia. Dear Lady Brockenhurst. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> Do you find a Dear moment lady. when we might be alone? This is, this is great. It's quite a secret. It's by the guy who did Downton Abbey. Is it action no. comedy? It's a um, life of lies. You know, it's like no, the, the, it's like the Jane Austen. This is like a, during uh, before period. the Battle of Waterloo in the London uh, upscale town uh, of, of Belgravia. Yeah. How it affects yeah. everyone. Yeah. And all these, what happens to their son? Did their son end up with this woman? And, oh, six episodes, that's all it. Right. It's not a big commitment, that's but it moves. About five episodes too many. Oh, yeah. it's good. That's the a good men are going to love it. They'll give up NFL probably. And there's a new season starting right now, but I don't think it's on Amazon Prime yet. It's on, like, the British channels or something. Okay. I don't know. You have right. to sign up for that one. Uh, next one, I told you about this one, Slow Horses. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I normally do these kind of speeches, but this feels like a big moment. So, he, I know it's Gary not Oldman easy is so great. These are like MI5 oh. agents that are that screwed up somehow and end up I'm working out of this up. dumb house so and Gary Oldman house. is this slovenly guy who's in charge of all of them. Well, but it's so good, the plot it's great. Oh, it is one. so yeah. good. There's three yeah. seasons of it. That is on right. Apple TV. Three That's seasons. a yeah, That's but a it, big commitment. It, not really. You gotta right. start really devoting your time like an to hour TV. And a half, two hours, all right. <laughs> okay. The next one. Have you seen Feud? I didn't watch the first season on FX about the feud between Betty Davis and... Um, uh, Groucho Marx. Joan Crawford. That is great, starring Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon, if you want to go to episode mm -hmm. one. But the new one that's out right now, we're mid-season, is Feud, Capote versus the Swans. Take a look. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. Baby, you're no good. Now, this is based on the true story between Truman Capote, and he had all of these lady high society friends in New York. He ended up writing a piece about them. He was going to make it a book. They all shut him out of society. But Molly Ringwald's in it, Demi Moore, Naomi Watts, Diane Lane, they all play, and uh, Callista the Flockhart. Swans. They're the swans, and it's all real life women. And it's so good. Huh. I'm about, I think they're about four episodes in right now. And huh. the guy who plays Truman Capote, Tom Hollander, is fantastic. Is this like 19? 19... Oh, no, that's a different You can watch guy. it on yeah, Hulu. Yeah. It airs on FX, and it also streams on Hulu. Is that late 70s? What is that? Uh, late 60s. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah, right at mid, like 66 through 69, something like that. All right, this is one that your wife told me about. Oh, all right. It's called A Place to Call Home. Thank you for everything. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh your wife is watching this? James, yeah. gotta reconsider some things. This is on Acorn Listen TV, which you can subscribe, and then after 10 days unsubscribe, you can watch all six seasons and get yeah. it done. But it's set like I after was World War on this for a few Yes, episodes. it's lovely. It's very, you know, nice. It's uh, after World War II, it's set in Australia. A nurse moves to a small town, and then there's the matriarch that doesn't like her there. But there's a lot of side stories. It's lovely. Is this yeah. a streaming network, Acorn TV? It I've is. never heard of it. I, I had not either. Shocking. But I, you know, it's you can keep it as long as you want. You know, if you don't need another subscription, yeah. but it's worth doing for that show. That right. one goes on a little much, if I might say. It, okay. it, it, it by like the last it seasons. Nutty. You don't. You don't know. I didn't Here's, last too long. Yeah. Um, well, you're not committed to TV no, like I, I am. Yeah, no, I don't like um, it. The next one's also on Netflix, uh, Fool Me Once. 
Now, this is based on a Harlan Coben book. He, he's right. that guy who writes a lot of these mystery uh, series. Oh. There's a bunch of these that have been on Netflix. This is good. It's like yeah. six or seven episodes. It, it was what, 61 million people watched it in two weeks. What? There's twists in all the episodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, it's like a, her husband so gets killed. What happened to her sister? Should I give away the ending? No, or? don't. Okay. But it's that's a good stream. It'll get you through it about six episodes, and uh, there you go. My last one, wow. I think we had another show. Yeah, the last one. This one's a uh, impressive. It's I like know. a marathon runner. <laughs> you right? Some people, oh my yes. God. You are so good at watching TV. This one I am cleaning the house and grocery shopping. Come on. What am I oh, doing that? Wow. does it. This last one, we had one of the stars on last week, Jeff Hiller. Um, he and Bridget Everett do this some, somebody somewhere oh, yeah. on HBO Max. And here's one of the scenes from it. It's just a great show. What's your dream wedding? I don't know. Okay, I'll go first. I would wear something really cute, you know? Just <laughs> festive. But not like white or bridal because no. you got to keep them guessing. You got to keep them guessing. <laughs> <laughs> and I would walk down the aisle to the song Gloria by Laura Branigan. And of course, in my childhood, I dreamed that I would fly her in to sing it. But now, I have you. Oh, it's all. You can't touch Branigan. You can touch Branigan. No Barbara, no Judy, no Branigan. Come on. Gloria, <laughs> Gloria, oh. I think they've got your number. Gloria, I think they've got the alias. Gloria. They so they're both stand-up now. comedians. Bridget Everett is loosely based on her going back to Kansas. All right. But it's filmed in Lockport. Yeah. Oh. And it, it's just 30 minute episodes. So funny. It's been a two or three seasons, but it's a great show. So. I think we've discovered the key to your happy marriage. <laughs> yeah. That I just watch TV all you the time. You don't talk to him much. This was, I've been watching these through the course of a year. That's who she is. Yeah. You he know? does what he does, and she does what she That's does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like both have their on the planet, if I might say, <laughs> So He's living go. his life, and you're living through other people's yeah, lives on right. TV. That's, that's fine. what I do. I'm putting him on my list of guys to golf with. You got to talk about it.